Hello everyone, welcome to yet again another Friday new product post. We talk about all the new products from the past week here at Sparkfin Electronics. Um, let's take a look and see what we've got for this week. So here we've got the new lily pad. This new lily pad actually uses the Atmega 32U4. For those of you not familiar with the Atmega 32U4, it is the same chip that's on the newer Arduinos. And actually, as you can probably tell from the picture, it does away with the FTDI. The 32U4 takes care of the whole USB UART section as well as everything else. So you don't need a separate chip on there so we can make it a lot more compact and you can plug a USB directly into it without having to use like an FTDI basic or something. And of course, being LilyPad, it does have a battery connector down there. And of course, the traditional pedals that we've been using on all the original LilyPads. So um, if you want something really small and don't want to have to mess around with using an FTDI, check out the new LilyPad 32U4. Next up, we've got a new camera from Linksprite. This is a nice little camera that as you can probably see, it has six LEDs on the side. Those are infrared LEDs, so this can be used in very low light. It is very similar to the other camera that we carry by them, except for with the addition, it has these infrared LEDs. It does have just a basic TTL interface, so you can connect this up to your computer, and you can actually have it take a picture, and then it takes that JPEG image and codes it into JPEG, and then transmits it over to your computer, into your terminal, things like that. Um, this is the same type of thing that we use with the um, JPEG trigger board that we have to where you can actually take that stream and then further store it on an SD card with an um, Arduino. Um, I think we did that with the cat box a little while back. So we've actually taken this camera, hooked it up, and taken some low light shots just to give you an idea of what it looks like. So here's a couple low light shots taken with this exact camera. So some of you might have seen that last week or earlier this week we had some Raspberry Pis on the site and they lasted, I don't know, like an hour or so. For those of you that got the Raspberry Pi, you might be interested in this case. This is a nice Raspberry Pi case. We've been looking at a bunch of different ones and we eventually found this one and we like it for a lot of different reasons. For one, it doesn't take any tools to open up. You can just kind of snap it apart like that and it has these two different pieces. The other thing that we like about it is if you look at the bottom here, we have these two mounting holes and we also have a vent. And then we also have a um, SD card slot so you can actually take the um, SD card in and out without having to open it up outside of the case. On the top here, we have all these openings to access the GPIO pins and everything else. And you can plug in USB, Ethernet, everything is completely open to you. You can even plug in the HDMI, um, and like the VGA and audio without having to open up the case. So the case is really nice because of that. And I've got a Raspberry Pi over here. So here's one of the elusive Raspberry Pis. And it's got a couple of clips right there and there. And we'll just slide this inside, snap it in. And as you can see, all the connectors have their holes. We just put this on top. It's even got a um, couple light pipes right here for the LEDs. So it brings the LEDs up to the top of the case. Let me snap it on like that. We have a fully enclosed Raspberry Pi that we have access to every single last little thing. You can fit a ribbon cable in here. You can connect your HDMI, connect video, connect audio, connect everything up, and you don't have to do anything to the case. Um, check these out and um, hopefully when we get the Raspberry Pis back in stock you can check those out too. So here you go, we've got the Raspberry Pi case, we've got the LilyPad at Mega 32U4 and of course the new infrared link sprite camera. Um, go ahead and check out the rest of the new product post. We have even more new products this week and we'll see you again next week with more new products and another new product post video. See you then.